Hi there, you're welcome to Demi Rx Care channel where we talk about medications and how to use them properly. If this is your first time on our channel, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below. That way you can get alerts anytime we post our other educating videos and content on our YouTube channel. Also, you'll be able to support here at our community at Demi Rx Care channel. All right, so what is our medication of choice today? So the medication we'll be talking about today is a tripla. So a tripla contains a favirenz as well as emtricitabine and tenofovir, which is a three drug uh, component in one tablet. So what is a tripla used for? A tripla is used in our patients to treat HIV infection. This is usually a one tablet a day medication whereby the dose of the medication is 600 slash 200 slash 300 milligram tablet of the three drug components that I mentioned earlier. So what are some of the side effects of this medication? So side effect includes rash as well as nausea. It can also cause dizziness in patients. It can cause headache, anxiety. It can cause depression as well as vivid dreams in patients. It can cause fatigue. Um, it can cause diarrhea as well as anxiety and also lack of sleep in patients. This medication can also cause fat redistribution in patients whereby fats kind of move around um, abnormally in different areas of the body. So this um, side effects is kind of all inclusive and it doesn't um, it doesn't happen to everyone but just in case if it does that way you're more familiar on what to look out for while taking this medication. All right so what are some serious side effects that you need to seek urgent care for immediately when you start noticing? So these side effects include cloudy urine as well as pale stools, dark urine, stomach pain, lightheadedness, severe weakness and tiredness, um, appetite loss, yellow skin, seizures or bone disorders when um, in patients. So these may be signs of kidney or liver issues that needs to be taken care of immediately. So make sure that you seek emergency treatment or care when you start noticing these side effects that I mentioned. So what are um, other things to note while taking this medication? So you want to make sure take, you take this medication um, at bedtime and also on an empty stomach. So preferably a couple of hours after you're done eating your last meal of the day. That way to kind of increase how your body tolerates it mentally after taking this medication. Also, um, like I said, this drug um, may cause dizziness. So you don't want to do anything that any activity that requires you to be mentally alert after taking this medication. That's why it's preferably taken at bedtime. So if you do feel any aggressive behaviors or start noticing any delusion or uh, psychosis while taking this medication, you want to make sure that you call your doctor's attention to it. That way they can start monitoring or try to switch you to another therapy. Also with this medication, you don't wanna double the dose. Um, try to, you want to make sure that you're staying consistent to how you're taking your medication, but if it's closer to the time of your next dose, then you want to make sure that you take your dose the same way you would take it, which is once and just skip that dose that you missed. But generally, this is not really advised because we want you to take it regularly once a day. So make sure that you set a schedule or time for yourself in order to be able to stay true and take that medication regularly as prescribed. So in our patients that are pregnant, this medication is not safe for pregnancy. In pregnancy, so you want to make sure that you're reaching out to your doctor immediately when you get um, that um, notice that you're pregnant or you start feeling the conditions that might um, impose that you're pregnant. Also, in patients, we would usually recommend using two forms of birth control, such as birth control pills, as well as a protective method, such as condoms, in patients in order to avoid being pregnant while on this medication in order to avoid any fetal harm. All right, and also with this medication, you don't want to breastfeed while taking the medication. So you want to make sure that you're calling your doctor's attention to that. That way they can change your therapy. Um, 
And also in patients that are co-infected with hepatitis B, this is not a medication that you want to stop all of a sudden because it can worsen that hepatitis B infection that you have. So this is a medication that you want to let your doctor know about your health concerns or your concerns about the medication that way they can switch you to another therapy without you know avoiding you go days without taking any medication um as your antiretroviral therapy that way it's not making it harder for the virus to be treated all right i hope i was able to let you know what um all to look out for while taking this medication. If you do have any health questions or concerns, you can reach out to our pharmacist at DamiRx Care, or you can reach out to your healthcare provider in order to follow up regarding your medications or health concerns that you may have. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below if you haven't done so yet. And thank you and stay blessed.